Hey guys, this is Blake here. I'm here to talk about Bruce Lee's Way of the Dragon. Um, I'm a pretty big Bruce Lee fan. I think he's, I think he's great, but I just don't think his movies always were good representations of that. I thought uh, anything he did did before the Big Boss, I either, I either haven't seen or didn't care for. He did Green Hornet, that TV show. I couldn't get into it, and he did some movie called Marlowe, even though it was only one scene. I haven't seen it yet. He also helped write Circle of Iron, but that got didn't get released until after he died, and it was completely changed and starred David Carradine. And I didn't care for that one either. Uh, it was just philosophy and mediocre fight scenes. But when he did The Big Boss, he pretty much revolutionized the whole Kung Fu genre, because at that point, all Kung Fu was really wooden compared to what he ultimately would do. It was pretty fake, too. But he was just really unique. I, if anything, he was the closest thing to believability you would get in a martial arts films. Unfortunately, that movie's kind of overlooked these days because he's pretty much surpassed it with everything else. Uh, it's a decent movie. A little, I think it aged probably the worst, but it, I, I liked it overall. And it was released in the U.S. as Fist of Fury. Uh, so that's going to get things get pretty confusing because his next movie was called Fist of Fury, and it's not the big boss. Uh, Fist of Fury is considered by most to be his best movie. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. I think it is technically his best film. It has the least technical problems that I've seen. But uh, I just don't really care for those kind of racist type films that were really popular in the 70s and early 80s. Uh, just, I never agree with that kind of stuff. And Apparently Bruce Lee didn't either because... Uh, his next few movies weren't racist at all. Um, in fact, it even seems to point out that racism is stupid from any side. But after that, he did Way of the Dragon, which I'll be talking through most of this review. Then he followed that up with his most famous movie, Enter the Dragon. Now, Enter the Dragon is actually one of my favorite martial arts films. Um, I love the fight scenes, obviously, but most importantly, I just love its exotic appeal. Uh, the real flamboyant, but very ambitious uh, set designs. I love the how it's pretty much a James Bond movie with martial arts. And I love all the characters and how they were played by their actors. They're some sort of interesting personalities. And I could just watch that movie anytime, all day, and I love it. Even though it definitely feels like it's being written as it's shot. So I wouldn't call it technically a great movie, but I love it. Um, he followed that up with Game of Death, which like everybody else I think sucks. He died, though, before he can complete that, so that's pretty much why his footage is definitely the best in the film. But with Way of the Dragon, what I like about it the most, even though it definitely has some awkward moments, uh, I think it's really funny. Uh, Bruce Lee, I think, shows his uh, acting range, because in all of his other movies, he's pretty straightforward, you know, really intense, really cool. But pretty much he never showed anything past that. He can do some drama pretty well. Like, I think his best acting in one scene is in Vista Fury, uh, right before the ending when he kind of glances at the girl, and it's a very knowing glance, and I'm not going to spoil the ending, but it pre if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But, you know, he gets to be uh, real funny here, and his comic timing, I think, is brilliant. Because um, he starts off where he's, he, he's in the airport in Rome, and he'd just come from China, and he has absolutely no idea what to do. He doesn't speak English, and um, total fish out of water. And there's plenty of gags there. And he just plays it so believably. You know, he looks all awkward, uh, but he's not, like, overly mugging like Jackie, Ch Jackie Chan would. And, um, and as I said, just because he seems so believable that it, that's what makes it so funny. And I think the whole movie is pretty funny. Even when the movie messes up, I think it's funny, even if it's unintentionally funny. So I laughed a lot. But people aren't really watching these movies to see Bruce Lee act or to even be funny because these are martial arts films. But the martial arts in this movie, I think, really held up well. The problem is, is there's obviously going to be some dating. I mean, if you're used to Tony Jaw, for example, yeah, this is not going to look as good as that. But uh, part of the problem is just at the time, for example, nobody really knew how to punch, believably, uh, in the 70s and film. I mean, they knew, obviously knew how to punch people, but it would always look fake and 
on film, and the only way that they can do it realistically is if they actually punched him. And um, so the punches always look seem kind of awkward to me for these types of movies. But uh, when Bruce Lee kicks, you can feel the power. I mean, he's fast, but not fast enough so you can't see him. And he, it seems like when he hits, he's hitting hard. And that's, I think, what makes Bruce Lee so unique is that you could see the intensity here. And I don't think you even really get that until maybe Tony Ja. Because, like, even Jet Li, who I really like, you know, his kicks never seem to have that much power. But Bruce Lee, I mean, if he, he looks like if he kicked you, he'd break your ribs. Um, and that's what I really like about Bruce Lee is, you know, it's not just that he could act. But he sells his hits. Uh, he seems very genuine in his martial arts abilities. But what everybody remembers this movie for is his fight with Chuck Norris. Now a little bit on Chuck Norris. Yeah, he's kind of a joke these days. Uh, most of the movies I've seen, it was when I was a kid, so I don't remember if they're really good or bad. I've been trying to go through a few of them lately. They're not very good, but I guess they're tolerable. Um, you know, the problem with Chuck Norris, like in Breaker Breaker, for example... Uh, when he kicks somebody, you could tell he's holding it back because he obviously doesn't want to hurt them. This is because American stuntmen weren't as good as Hong Kong stuntmen when it came to martial arts type sequences. So uh, that's why it just doesn't look as good. In fact, I don't think really we started catching on until the late 80s with Jean Claude Van Damme. He started bringing guys from Hong Kong to help uh, so he could get better. Um, other times where he actually would fight a genuine martial artist, like Bill the Superfoot Wallace, and he fought some Japanese guy in the octagon. Uh, but I'm going to refer mainly to Bill Wallace's fight in A Force of One, I believe it was. Uh, the director just didn't really know how to film a dynamic fight scene uh, like you know Hong Kong directors did. And there was no action choreographers, so... Uh, the end result is that the fights look really dull and awkward. And with a way, The Way of the Dragon, um, at least now Bruce is fighting somebody who he doesn't have to worry about holding his kicks back. Uh, Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris, when they fight, every blow feels real. And uh, even though there's obviously some choreography, it's not fancied up to the point of looking fake. It looks like they're genuinely fighting. And I think that's what makes it so powerful. And I'd say, I'd say this is one of the best fight scenes of all time. And it's also partially because how Bruce directs it. Uh, you know, there's some good intensity, and I like how he does sets up some of the camera angles. Um, but I think it's definitely Chuck Norris's best fight scene. And probably Bruce Lee's, too. I'd say that was definitely both of their best. I think that's actually, like, one of the best fight scenes of all time. So, And, uh... Obviously, Bruce Lee was the director, so that helps, um, since he obviously knew how to film fight scenes. So that was great. Like I said, I laughed a lot. There's constant fight scenes. You know, yeah, there's some lame scripting, but as I said, it contributed to my laughter. Uh, so I definitely recommend Way of the Dragon to anybody who likes martial arts films, or even is just interested in martial, art, martial arts films, even if they're not used to the genre yet. Uh, if you want to read my written review, just check the link in my description. That is all. Here is the trailer. I hope you enjoy it.